Alright guys, welcome back. We have not done an exit ticket in about two weeks, so let's get started. Number one, based on the information presented, which of the following blood samples most likely can had the highest water content per milliliter? Excuse me. Okay. Blood samples of equal volumes were collected from five students on one day immediately after waking in the morning and one hour after a breakfast of pancakes and syrup of orange juice. Table one shows the color, mass, and sugar concentration of blood samples taken before and after breakfast. Sugar concentration. Um, do, do, do. Calculated normal range for blood sugar. Okay. So the volume of blood. So... Um, which had the highest water content, so that's going to be the lowest blood sugar because we want it to have the most water in the blood. That would be the most dilute. So let's, if we look at here, before breakfast, so 93 is our smallest. That's student B, and that's before breakfast. Let's see. Yep. So this before breakfast blood sample of student B is low. Hmm. Um, let's see. Color values were assigned. Zero is pale red, dark red, dark red, sugar concentration. Yep, so the correct answer for number one is B. Alright, number two. Did the data in table one and two support the conclusion that as a mass of given volume of blood decreases, the blood color darkens? Yes, because blood samples with the lowest masses. Okay, so as the mass decreases, the color darkens. So let's see. As this mass decreases, so let's see. This is the highest, nine, then six, four is seven, five, eight is six, um, five, one is three. So almost, except there's one caveat here, so this one doesn't work. And then, let's see, six, nine is eight, seven, six, four, five. So, for the most part, it works. Um, so, yes, because the blood samples with the lowest masses had the lower color values. Um, oh, we want it to be darker, which is the higher values. So, actually, no. So, as the mass went down, the color decreased. So, that's going to be a no answer. So, yes, because blood samples with the lowest masses had higher color values. No, because blood samples with the lowest masses had lower color values. So the answer to that one is H. Okay, number three. Based on the results provided, as the sugar concentration of a given volume of blood increases, the mass of that volume of blood does what? So... As the sugar concentration increases, let's look at this table. So as we go from 96 to 102, that's an increase. 102 to, that's an increase. That's an increase, that's an increase. So. <coughs> it looks like they both increase. So the answer to three is C. All right, number four. Of one of the five students had a common cold on the day of the blood samples were collected. Given that sugar concentration um, of blood tends to increase during per periods of illness, the student with the cold was most likely. So one of the five students had a common cold on the day, and so it increases during periods of illness. So we want to look for the person that has the highest blood sugar. 119, 116, so the person with a cold was most likely student A. Number five, 
A volume of 0.5 milliliters from which of the following blood samples would weigh the most? So, a volume of 0.5 milliliters from which of the following blood samples would weigh the most? Let's see. How much was taken? Point five milliliters. Well, the highest mass here is student A. And it's student A after breakfast. So the before breakfast, the after breakfast of so, the before breakfast blood sample of student, so student A is not an option here, so now we need to go to the next highest level, because it says which of the following. So a lot of you guys have missed that on an interim because of that, so um, let's say our next best option is student E after breakfast. Yeah, student E after breakfast, and that is an option, so the answer to number five is D. And our last one, number six, which is what is the positive difference in mass in milligrams between the before and after samples from student C? So, student C, 1.051, 1.055. So, and these are grams, 1.055 minus 1.051 grams equals point zero zero four grams and then you have to remember it asks for milligrams so um, grams thousand milligrams in each gram so that's one two three so the answer to six is J for four that one you do have to do a little bit of math so you might have to know your conversions all right and every single one of these questions was the same standard, by the way, or the same standard bucket.